Welcome to Mug Daddy Mug Pond. So Faith, you want to start with the sugar donut? Let's look at it. Sit on the Here's the caramel delish croissant. It looks good. It looks pretty. It looks pretty moist. Nothing inside, just hollow. Wish it was heated, hot. Mm. This is a cinnamon sugar donut. I wish it's more coated with sugar than cinnamon. You got the pot? I don't use some more of it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm, it's okay. It's a little bit drier than I would like. The star of the show is definitely this uh, budget iced coffee. Yeah. There's the you know sugar donut. Not much, not much sugar in there. It's decent. So I'm gonna give that a seven out of ten. Uh, sugar donut. That's okay. Six. Six out of ten. And we're about to go hit up this Windjammers buffet for breakfast. I also rate this seven. This doesn't have enough sugar and sugar. Okay, let's go. Oh, the is hot. So we give that a nice mix. Let's get a nice taste test. Mmm, that's pretty solid. Pretty much exactly what you expect from a kanji. I'm gonna add some bacon. I think this tomato would be good in it, so I'm gonna add that there. And I have these sauteed mushrooms. These are really good. Good kanji. Yeah. Surprised they have this. Oh yeah. Oh, that tomato's good in there. That tomato thing goes well. I'm like adding pepper to kanji. Comfort food, guys. Comfort food. I could probably just eat this. All day. What do you rate the kanji? The kanji, guys. I give it a solid uh, 8 out of 10. It's great. Comforting. <laughs> I rate the kanji an 8 too. That's really her bowl of kanji. This is mine. Here's our plate of food. Here's Spade's plate. So very good. Pretty solid, I say. Eggs are light and fluffy, and I like how you can top it with whatever you like. So salsa, scallions, and cheese. Excellent. Overall solid breakfast. Everything's tastes the way it's supposed to. Eggs are quite nice, very fluffy. The corned beef hash was pretty good. Overall breakfast experience, I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Same here. Um, the best thing I like is the kanji, just because it reminds me of home. I definitely wanted to get my Asian fix in, because five days, you know, it's going to be tough. <laughs> and we didn't do the uh, Izumi sushi or the hibachi option, but we do have a, a nice royal, uh, taste of royal dinner coming up. Kanji is kind of like grits, Asian style grits. You can't go wrong. Like grits, I've seen people make it savory. I've seen them make people make it sweet. Like a lot of people put cheese in grits, shrimp in grits, some protein in grits. 
Also, I've seen people who go the opposite way and put maple syrup in grits, sugar in grits. So you can go sweet or savory or mix it all. Anji, you normally go savory, but I could see it being pretty good with like sugar or honey or sweet, sweet variety. Guys, we're gonna finish this breakfast and uh, we'll meet you outside in Nassau. I think the eddies are pretty crispy. Not bad. Uh -huh. Some parts crispier than others. Wonderful breakfast. Not too stuff. Look at how big they are. Faith, put it up in front of your head. It's like this. No, no. Bring it closer to. Them. Bring it closer. It like covers her whole face. It's that big. <laughs> First bite. Can you show the inside of the conch fritter to the viewers? Wow. Is there a lot of conch in there or is it just airy goodness? Mm, that looks yummy. What's your rating on that? Yeah, why not? Memories. What's your rating on that? Nine. Nine out of ten? Ooh, he knows. Hey, me? Yes, sir. Here we go. Conk critter number one. That is light, it's fluffy. Check the middle. It looks juicy, piping hot. Let it dip that. Look at the sauce. Thousand Island. No. What do you rate it? After, after snorkeling for like two hours of walking around everywhere, the food tastes just so good. Yeah. I give that a nine as well. Yeah. I think I would give it a ten, but. It's kind of messy. It's oh, very chewy. I'm gonna say, no doubt. The sauce is a little bit too mayo-y for me. I would want something a little bit more, uh, a bit better contrast. Don't you think it's a little too greasy? Oh, no. I think I need some acid to put right now. Maybe hot sauce will do it. What are you going to rate it with hot sauce? My dad says hot sauce makes everything better. Especially greasy. What do you rate it now? So am I. Uh -oh. very good though. This Bahamian soda, Moon Bay Punk or whatever. Money. So good. Yeah. It's like gold pineapple mixed with club soda. In the best way possible. That I give a nine as well. I also. You know, Kakonk is a bit more chewier than just raw ceviche. Conk they use in conk salad. daughter is just like me. We love authentic, cultural, local food. I'm not gonna lie, that Royal Caribbean food is really good. It was very surprising how good it was. And I don't know the people why they do the, you know, meal upgrade packages when the regular meals are just so good. Is it that much better? It's better with the hot sauce. Much better with the hot sauce. These kind of remind me of okonomiyaki. No, takoyaki. You know what? 
guys, I think Kong Fritters is the Bahamian version of Japanese takoyaki. Instead, they use uh, conch, which is more plentiful here, than they do with uh, octopus. But they are very similar. This would probably be very good with uh, uh, bulldog sauce or the takoyaki sauce with bonita flakes sprinkled all over it with kewpie mayo. Yeah, it would be. That hot sauce is a must. I love it. This is good. That's so good, guys. Highly recommend O Andros Conk Fritters. So Faith just wants to finish her food, so... We're gonna enjoy this food and then see you guys back on the boat. Okay guys, so I have beef goulash right here. And I have chicken curry. This is raspberry mousse. And this is uh, hair chopped with dessert. Quick snack time before dinner. Faith is trying. The beef goulash. Beef goulash, I tried it. It's very chewy. Not mine. Not tender. Mine's really tender. Mine's super chewy. Mine's not chewy at all. Really? You melted mm. in your mouth? Yeah, really. Mine did it. Is that a tougher piece? Mm. No, wow. Mine's you got lucky. Really good. You got lucky. Let me try this fish curry though. This fish curry looks good. I wonder what type of fish it is. I hope it's not tilapia. Tilapia is good. I tried it. I know, it's good, but it's not good for you. Well, it's not even focusing. Me trying the fish too. Mm. Fish curry is pretty good. Pretty salty. Overall, I like the fish curry better than the beef goulash. But still, for me, it's the beef goulash is better. Was better? Yeah. Okay. Maybe because it was different. Okay, now let's try it. desserts. Let's try it out of this. Tropical pound cake. So guys, I got the beef goulash. I give that a five out of 10. Mine was way too chewy. Didn't like it. Faith had a more tender version. What do you rank, rate your beef goulash? Eight? What about the fish curry? Seven? Yeah, I give the fish curry about a seven. Overall, the local Bahamian fare, the fried snapper and their side dishes and the conk fritters were much better. I wish I tried the con salad, but hopefully they have that tomorrow at Coco Can. Although they did issue a warning on the Royal Caribbean app to not eat the conk because they said there's a bacteria going around. So then didn't know about all that, but. Whatever. Definitely when you're snorkeling, swimming nonstop for two hours, you're gonna have to get that energy in. All right, let's try that pear dessert. This one looks good. Uh, hair dessert is okay. I don't know. Nothing too special about it. What do you think? What do you rate the pear dessert? Six? Yeah, I'll give it about a six. Nothing too special about it. I like the waffles in the morning better. There's the... Dolce to Lesh cream pie. Mmm, this one's not bad. You want to try it? Is this a cream puff? Mm-hmm. In the middle is not bad at all. Not bad. Mm. More, more. Should probably only give that about a six, seven out of ten. There's the apricot pistachio pie. This one's pretty dry. All right, last dessert: raspberry mousse. Mousse. I'm not really a mousse guy or whipped cream type person. 
Uh, not my favorite. I'm gonna give that about a five out of 10. I like the soft serve ice cream better than all of this. <laughs> right? Do you like the soft serve ice cream better too? Yeah. What's your favorite thing out of everything? The beef goulash? Mm, yeah, probably. My number one so far is the congee. Believe it or not, congee was my favorite. Well, then I after that, the mousse. I didn't after that is definitely the uh, prime rib. Wait, let me rate the mousse. I need to rate the mousse, Papa. Go ahead. I rated it a seven. Mousse was a seven? Yeah. Seems like that was your best dessert so far. Yeah. No? What was my favorite dessert so No, this far? is my favorite. Really? I like the carrot cake. I had the carrot cake yesterday from the pizza spot the bus. Oh, out of everything? Yeah. No, I think you meant from ring camera. Yeah, I think carrot cake was my favorite. Um, out of all the food I ate, I think number one is the prime rib. Prime. That prime rib was the best with the horseradish. And dessert? Dessert item, the carrot cake. The appetizers and the kanji. Kanji was number two. Main I like the milk was prime rib. Um, second, probably also the kanji. My daughter is following me, guys. She does everything no, I, I like. That's literally my favorite. My my dessert. Favorite dessert? You don't have one? Yeah, I don't know how. Alright. Well, thank you guys for this snack. We'll tell you guys all the inside tips on where to do. Of course, I had to make my special iced coffee mix, but it wasn't as good as this morning when Faith made it. But I'll take it. Take that caffeine anytime. Alright guys, we'll see you at dinner. Okay guys, I like the bread that they give. They do give a ton for each table though feel like we're gonna waste them but this butter is excellent it's a salted butter it tastes pretty good now this this I'll be a fan of I'll let me a good wedge salad give me some hot sauce Tabasco Tabasco's fine thank you I want some I'm gonna cut it for you relax relaxation This iceberg wet salad looks very good. What does wet salad mean? That you're just lazy to cut it all up into pieces? So you just give it as a big wedge? Who came up with this idea? Must be a genius mom who didn't want to prep the salad up. How's that? What's your rating on that, Faith? Your rating on the wet salad. Eight out of ten. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mmm, I give that a seven out of ten. Just a little too too mayonnaise. The sauce. I think it's too much sauce. Is it blue cheese? It's not very chunky blue cheese though. Is it? Mm. You know, with the hot sauce, I give that, I give that a solid A. Backman? What do you rate the bu butternut squash soup? Seven. That was pretty good. All right, got lamb curry. Um, roti. Got 
the lamb curry. Let me got the herb. How's this down? That looks good. All right, Faith, let's dig into that salmon. Tell me. Is that good? Your reaction looks like it certainly is. Huh? Oops. Herb crusted salmon. Looks pretty moist. It's pretty good. Let's go. Mmm. 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 That is pretty tender. You know what I need? Most definitely. Some of that hot sauce on there. All right. I got some of my hot sauce on there. But I probably won't add hot sauce to the curry lamb though. What's your rating on the herb custard? Solid eight. You know what I made it better? They actually crusted it better. Toasted it, toasted the crusting. No, like real, like crunchy. Now, I'll give it a nice little pan sear, or at least use the blowtorch. All right, mm, I give that a seven. It's pretty good. But overall, I just think the food we had in the Bahamas was just better than anything we've had on the boat so far. What do you think? No, but I like the prime rib a lot. I love the prime rib. Probably that was one of the best things. All right, curry lamb. So curry, lamb, fennel, make up the flavor profile. It is, it is a bit salty, in my opinion. But overall, solid lamb. I give that an eight, eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 as well. I wish we had more sauce with it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I have a question. You guys have horseradish? All right, thank you. I love horseradish with my meat. My fatty lamb. It's pretty good. I definitely taste all the flavors in there. The only thing for me is I wish this was a, a lot spicier, like more traditional Indian spice. But the flavoring is good. Pretty salty. Solid dish. It's comforting. I love Indian. I love curries. Actually, one thing I think would have made this better is some type of like mint chutney or some type of yogurt sauce to bring down the saltiness. Yeah. It's pretty good. No? Oh, sorry. Was it good? I didn't like it. Too hot? I actually didn't put it on this side. You want this side? You want it all? Or half? All right, let me cut this in half for Faith. Pretty good, right? Melt in your mouth. Good. Huh? Eight out of 10? Okay. What's your favorite thing so far? The lamb? 
What'd you rate that? Mank. Still prime rib, top, top spot. I guess you like the horseradish seasoning a little bit. Not bad. Yeah, guys, my number one was the prime rib. Sorry I didn't get video of that. We literally forgot. Forgot about that whole, right? We were just so hungry. Time for dessert. All right. Apple crumb. All right. Let's try that creme brulee. How's that? Oh my gosh, it's like a layer. Yeah, of course. It's crispy. It's pretty much just eggs. All right, let's try. Have you had creme brulee before? Never? All right, you'll like it. There's uh, definitely a fancy way to make it. I mean, certain way to make it. Looks pretty good. The creme brulee, I give it a I give it a seven. I think it was one of the better desserts on this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Rate that an eight. Was that your favorite dessert so far on this ship? You were gonna you were gonna concrete for so many years. Try that one. Apple crumb cake. Cappuccino cake, guys. Interesting. Mm, apple cobbler. Give that a seven. Do the creme brulee. Eight. Cappuccino cake, give that a six. Seven, eight, eight. All right, another great meal. Royal Caribbean, day two. We are literally getting stuffed every day. I don't know how people can end the cruise without gaining like 10 pounds, easily. All right, here we go. Raisin bran with some milk. Love me some cereal, guys. Cereal, comfort breakfast of Americanized people. <laughs> yeah, of course. We ordered um, breakfast burrito and French toast. I wonder why don't, they don't have like bananas and passion fruit and guava. How's the fruit? Good. Tastes like it's supposed to. I don't really like Hmm? Yeah. I don't really like Really? That's the original kiwi. Hmm? Is that good, Faith? I like it. Watermelon. Mmm. Watermelon's good. Very refreshing. All right, here you go. Express breakfast. And for and the toast. Yep. <laughs> How's the American breakfast? Pretty good.
Here you go, guys. The breakfast burrito topped it with the guacamole, salsa, and sour cream. And you know what goes on top of that. Hot sauce. Sprinkle that on top. Pretty much. What else did you put on? I didn't put any. I put everything. Breakfast burrito, guys. I rate that seven out of ten. I think face breakfast looks looks better. But we'll try the French toast. What do you rate that, babe? I don't know if it's So I got the bacon the burrito. Mm-hmm. I rate it. Did you just give me the weakest bacon out of every single bacon you have there? She has like 20 big ones and give me the fall, smallest ones you can find. Daughters are the best. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty standard American breakfast. Really? Overall for breakfast, guys, I prefer Windjammers. Just because you get the same food, but you can pick out exactly what you want and your portions. No, we haven't been to Windjammers for dinner. Should we go there tonight? Okay, the French toast came in. Pretty good. Fruit compote, I guess. Whipped cream, maple syrup, a solid. Not as crunchy as I like, but it's pretty good. Probably ranked that a seven. Still think congee's the best. Can I get some of that toast with the jelly? Did you just blow the butter? Is it piping hot or something? Is the butter piping hot? If the butter was piping hot, it would be like liquid. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at this masterful butter and strawberry toast. What what are you what are you doing? Stop. She's making like a she's making like a strawberry butter. Pretty good, Mm-hmm. Okay guys, thank you for joining us for this um dining experience in the dining hall, continental breakfast. Faith is gonna spend the rest of the time buttering her toast. And we'll see you for lunch. Burger. Chill, bro. Mmm. Pretty good. I give the barbecue chicken a solid eight. Barbecue chicken's really good. No joke.
Mm, get that a sip. Sex. Oh, I think that is good. Here's the prime rib sandwich. Blast? Strawberry kiwi, it's not very good. All of that stuff is not good. You want some of this steak sandwich? Oh, yeah. Kind of refreshing. The watermelon is fantastic. Dinner starts off with bread. We like this uh, sliced Italian bread or French bread baguette the best. Uh, these other ones, not so much. This is definitely going to go to. This butter tastes great. I don't know what type of butter this is. This is Egg water. de Boutere. Ah, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely good, good ingredients. This is going to be good. How do you like it, babe? How do you like that bread? It's your best favorite. I love the butter. It's like cool, but then it melts in your mouth. Yeah, it's actually great butter. That bread with that butter, you know, I give that a solid seven. I've had better butter. I mean, I've had better bread options. But overall good. What's going on? What's on the chair? Baccio. Nice. Make some more space. Alright, and then we got the bed salad. We've been getting salad with every meal. That's good. That's healthy. Alright guys. Bon appetit. Bite of carpaccio. Fresh. How is it? Pretty good. Pretty good. What is it like? A thinly sliced ham? I don't know. Oh, it's really super thin. thin. Yeah, that's really thin. Carpaccio. Wow, it's great. Pretty good. No, not for you. Oh, man. Yeah. That's awesome. No, I'm hungry. Mm. Pretty good. All what right. are you hey guys, that carpaccio is awesome. What Appetizer. I give that a good eight. Yeah. Eight out of ten. Same here. It's light, savory, fresh. The arugula on there, parmesan. Overall, I think it was one of my favorite appetizers on the whole trip. Yep. Faith is about to get minestrone, but then she changed her mind last second for the beef carpaccio. I mean, what was it? Beef carpaccio. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Here's some salad. Faith just doesn't eat spicy, but it's surprising at what like weird food she'll try. She likes tripe for some reason. Mm -hmm. She likes oddball food items that most people won't even eat. Did you try lamb brains too? No. How'd you like that? I tried raw You tried lamb brains too, right? Cow brain? You said you ate it at a friend's house. Somebody gave you brains. Yeah. It was like cream. Oh, chicken brains. Was it good? No, no, no. I didn't eat it. Oh. Her friend, her, Misha's mom eats it. Mm. <laughs> chicken brains? I don't know. No, no, no. Misha told me that she eats oh, it's chicken hearts. Chicken yeah, hearts? Yeah, chicken hearts. Yeah, chicken hearts. He said it's healthy, I guess, or whatever. That's what Misha The lettuce is good. Is it good? What do you rate it? Mm, I don't know. It wasn't the greatest. 
I think I would like it with Italian dressing much better. You know, since we're about to have an Italian day, you know, Italian food meal. I would have much preferred Italian dressing. Salad was okay, maybe a six. What do you think? Yeah, so. and there goes the you mushroom have, like, risotto. One more lamb, yeah? One. Ooh, lasagna. Oh, that lasagna looks great. Tell me, what do you think about the risotto? Okay. Enjoy, bon appetit. Mm. Mm. It's a little undercooked. What? It's not fully cooked. What? The risotto. I would like some pepper. Some pepper on it. Yeah. What's your rating? Pretty good. I rated um. I rated an eight. Eight? Wow. I'll give that a six. It's undercooked. Is this salt? You can, you can, yeah, that's all. You can't see that the rice is a little bit too hard. It's not salt enough. Yeah, a little bit. So, oh, I mean, with the peppers a little better. I do want the lasagna. Mm -hmm. Oh, my lasagna looks good. All right, Faith, what do you think about the lasagna? Pretty good. Really? Mm. I rate it at eight. Rate that on eight. I think the noodles are a little overcooked. Overcooked? Yeah, the noodles. How do you rate it? Mm. Can I give it a seven? Seven. I like the butter than the risotto. I think the beef carpaccio is still the winner out of all the things we got. Yeah. All good. <clears throat> Now for the spicy lamb, lamb kofta. I asked for an extra spicy, so. All right, guys, let's try this lamb kofta. Seasonings are good. Not bad. I feel like the Indian food here is a bit more saltier. Another option. Yeah, so I, what I noticed about like the curry dishes and the international dishes is a little bit more saltier. Lacks on the big oomph factor on the on the flavor and the spices. I think they overcompensate with more salt, but still, I like it. Are you spice? Yeah, uh, it's okay. I could use a bit more heat on a dish like this, like really hot. Again, it would be much better if it had like a chutney, like a mint mint yogurt sauce. We'll make it better. This is like a different type of roti too. Okay, let's place How many of the in my I like lemon. What is this? Okay. Lemon tart? That looks pretty good actually. I like it. first. Tiramisu. It has like a that? lot of cream. Here's a tiramisu. A lot. Very coffee. Very thick flavor. I like it. Pretty good. Pretty solid. Mine, mine. The ice cream at the dinner option is definitely better than the soft serve.
What's your rating? Mm. Give me two. I rate mean, seven. That's pretty good. Seven, yeah, I give that a seven as well. All right. Lemon tartare recommended. That's pretty good. I'm gonna rate that an eight. Eight out of ten. Okay, what is this? What was this again? Chocolate cappuccino? Cappuccino, I don't know. Hey. Right. I forgot. It's kind of like a chocolate lava cake. Molten lava cake. Pretty good. Mm. Kind of tastes like a brownie that's undercooked. Hold on. It tastes like a brownie that's... Undercooked brownie. Not as much as the other brownies. Mm -hmm. Just paired with that, I give that a nine. It's like my favorite dessert of all time, brownie with vanilla ice cream. Fun fact, brownie with vanilla ice cream was ranked in the top 10 of best foods ever. Best food. It's just a yummy combination. Who doesn't like brownie with vanilla ice cream? Do you like it too? I love it. Of course. Awesome. That is a good mix right there. All right? Mm -hmm. Get a piece of that. Try this too, three. Is that good? Mm -hmm. You didn't rate it yet. Mm, is that a good one? Eight. Eight? Just because this combination is so good. It's kind of like a key lime pie almost. Like a lemon meringue tart. It's pretty good. What do you think? What's right in? Seven. What do you rate that? Together? With the ice cream. Nine. Yeah, with the ice cream, that thing is awesome. Guys, whenever this is out, get that and pair that with the vanilla ice cream. This is, um... Won't go wrong. Pretty good. It's like brownie. Because it is brownie, I think. Mm-hmm. Start the food. Go. Go. Another good meal? Yeah. Bread. I don't know if it's any type of special bread, but good. looks like it's better than most of the breads we had before. Light, airy, fluffy. Are we gonna need butter with it? Okay, guys, we're here for our first course. Tuna tartare. All right, hi. Awesome. Here it is, guys. This is the citrus seas tuna tartare, fresh spicy tuna, wasabi tobiko, yuzu mayonnaise, and phyllo uh, parmesan crackers. Oh yeah, those crackers look great. And Faith is gonna do the first bite. She wants a little bit of everything. How's that? How did it taste? What's your rating on that? Six. Huh? Probably is that is. How was it? You rate? You rate that a nine? Is that good? Citrus sea sartar. Go ahead and eat that. Looks fresh. I'll mix it right in. The mayo. It's a pretty presentation. Mm. It is good. It's great. Yeah, it probably gives you a nice contrast to the, you know, the soft fish, the tuna. It gives it a nice crunch factor. You don't like it with the mint? Nope. You don't like mint. No, like mint. Yeah, I like it, but I'll like try it with the mint. Let's try it together. The 
Mint tastes good with it, actually. That's like a fancy Ritz cracker. Mm -hmm. Overall, pretty good. What do you rate it? Mm. I rate that an eight. I think it needs a little bit more spice, maybe a little bit more sriracha for my flavors, for my taste. I do mine. like it with the mint. It's great. When I heard spicy, spicy tuna, I was pretty excited. But it doesn't really taste like other spicy tunas that I've had. No? Okay. True. That one's loaded. Loaded with the tuna. I mean, I'm really excited about the for the filet mignon because every beef dish I've had, they cook it really well. Here we go, second course. We have the Mars Capone cheese risotto with crab meat. So that is gonna be carna rolly rice, crab meat, lemon, mascarpone, peas, and aged parmesan. There's the risotto. So it looks like on the risottos they uh, undercook it a lot. Definitely feel like the little rice, you know, the risottos are too hard. Yeah, super hard. Chewy. Not for me. Mine's a half. Rate that about a seven. I'm, I'm being generous. The risotto's not cooked properly. It's way too hard. I'm not impressed with that one. This, this tuna tartare was better. I just wish mine had more sriracha. <clears throat> All right, here's the third course. Chops grill, filet mignon rare. They've got the medium rare. Just getting a nice little cut of it. Have your first taste of that filet mignon. Tell me what you think. What do you think? Very good. Cooked to perfection. What's your rating on that? Ten out of ten. Oh, okay, nine. Nine out of ten. I was surprised. She hardly gives out ten. Okay, here we go, guys. We got the filet mignon. I do want some pepper on these things? Guys, I have a whole garlic clove on here. I want a little bit of salt on the veggies. My rare filet mignon, still mealy. Oh, that's great. Is it rare? Uh-huh. No, Cooked to perfection? Yes. I'm medium. What is this? I'm, I really like the steaks. Spicy shrimp. It's the, the, the spicy shrimp. I really love how they prepare the steaks yeah, on the ship. A little bit salty though. What do you rate it? Uh, I don't know. Rate it a seven maybe? Seven. Salty. It's too salty for me. Huh? No, it's salty. Let's try another bite. 
quite simple. Really? Mm -hmm. And I'm not a travel agent or anything. I know I might sound like one, but I'm not. Mm. Yours is way less saltier than mine. Is that? Why? He, he might. Tell me how salty it is. I don't want to talk about that. Dude, what's the saltier than mine? Huh? Yeah, it's way saltier. What did you rate mine? I think yours is an eight. That's perfect. Look Mine's too salty. Let's go ahead and taste the spicy shrimp. There's the shrimp. I would order it for Nice crispy. Mm. The shrimp is great. The spicy shrimp tastes fantastic. Just whole fried shrimp with spicy sauce. I was just gonna wait on my new filet mignon. Got me up, up my rating. Hey guys, they brought us a new filet mignon. There we go. Better than before. You definitely don't skimp on the salt. What do you rate? Eight. Mine's still better? Yeah, I like yours better. <laughs> And tell me huh, what you think about that fried cheese. I should have that Pretty good? Really good? It looks good. Man, that cheese got fried up real good. Cheesecake, huh? There we go. First bite. Fried cheesecake. Fed a little bit of everything on a, on a fork. I feel salty too. How can it be salty? The cheesecake. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Feels like something I could eat at a fair. Carnival. You know, they love to fry everything there. Mmm. I think that was my favorite appetizer so far. That and the beef carpaccio. Same here. I gotta give that a, I gotta give that a nine. Same here. Nine. That's really good. It has all the flavors. But it looks like they reuse 
stuff from other parts of the book. That carnitas, I think it was like stuff that they used earlier. From like the Mexican spot. And then also for the breakfast. You know how they have like the carnitas meat? I think they just repurposed it. But it was good. Here's the coconut shrimp, guys. The jumbo coconut shrimp. Well, they're Christian too. Yeah. I just saw them. Look at that stuff. Mmm. Okay, what do you rate it? Mmm. Mm. It needs to be a little bit sweeter. A little too salty for me. Look at that stuff. It's really crunchy though. I'll give it a Really crunchy. Mm. This thing actually looks like something I can work together real quick. Looks good. Oh. It feels like we should have like sesame oil and salt. Don't you feel like that should be like the topping for it? It does have sesame seeds. It does? And sesame seeds. Mmm! A little bit of salt. I mean, yeah. I love tofu with anything. Can I put a little bit of salt? Yeah. Put a little salt, put a little pepper too, please. What should we do? Now. Mm. I like it though. Better? Yeah. Yeah, much better. Mm. 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 Sweet, light, crisp, fresh. Pretty good. Pretty good components. What do you read it? I like it. Uh, give it a seven. Mm, same here. I give it a seven. It just tastes comforting. Mm -hmm. Tastes like comfort food. I never mix tofu with this combination. Me neither. Tomatoes and avocado. What about tomato and avocado? Plenty times. But never with tofu. Yeah, Nathan's enjoying that. I just want to finish it up. You don't have to. Pretty good though. All right, here comes our main entrees. That's the jerk pork chop. Golly, that was massive. Garlic tiger shrimp. Tiger shrimp. Oh. Chicken. It's Caribbean chicken. Wow, that's a lot. Yum I yum. Do you like something like real spicy sauce? Do you have any more of the jerk sauce on the side? Yeah, yeah, I'll get more. Oh, yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay, this looks good. Here we go. Faith is trying that jumbo shrimp first. Mmm. Look at this one. Tiger shrimp, not jumbo shrimp. Tiger shrimp. Mmm. That looks great. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I give that an eight. I think it's easily one of my more most enjoyable meals. It's just very light, healthy, bunch of veggies. The fried. rice is actually cooked. The rice is cooked this time, so I like the risottos. Okay. It's hard and juicy, it's really juicy. Mm -hmm. Some pieces off for me, please. Mmm, that has like sweet. Sweet. And uh, Caribbean taste. Wow, mm. it is very juicy. It's really juicy. Mmm. Mm. Pretty good. Oh, that's very sweet. Really sweet. Try this bread. Not spicy at all. Nope. I, don't, I don't notice any spice. 
It's not supposed to be spicy. Is it? Oh, you want half of this cooked up? No, not half of it. I'll give you some. What time is it? We've got time. Okay. All right, quick. Rating on the chicken. Mm. Eight. Eight? Eight? No. Wow, is it as good as the shrimp? Oh no, sorry, seven. Then. Seven? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get a seven. Oh, the dirt actually has a little bit of spice. I had more mm. spice than others. Huh? Has a little bit of spice here. Mm. It's spicier than others. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely take the jerk seasoning on the jerk pork. Spiciest dish I've eaten so far. Yep. On this trip. I have a jerk pork, uh, eight. Um, same. It was, it was enjoyable. Yep. This is the pineapple Cheers. cake. Try that for the dessert. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Caribbean style. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Mm. Favorite dessert? No. Mm. It's okay. What's your favorite dessert? Look at that, a seven. I told you the chocolate mousse, whatever we got yesterday. With the vanilla ice cream. Um, okay, I rate the pineapple cake on eight. I gave that a seven. Carrot cake. It's a little bit hard. I rate it a seven. What about you? Let's give the carrot cake a seven as well. Same here, seven. Seven. Okay. All right, guys, in there, I like to put the tomato. I like to put the mushrooms in there too. Smash some of that bacon and mix that all up. All right, Asian grits. It's basically what this is. Hey guys, here's the kanji. Basically, Asian grits. Comfort food. Only thing missing for this is, um, I would say fish sauce. I like fish sauce with my kanji. A uh, fish sauce mix, mixed with uh, Thai chili peppers. That I like to pour on here instead of the, uh, I guess you could do soy sauce too. But fish sauce in addition is really, really great. Actually, if they also had um, any type of fish dish, like a steamed one, I'd like to mix that in here as well. Make the fish kanji. Mm-hmm. And my cheesy eggs. Mm. I'm gonna add some pepper into my kanji. And all my eggs. Little bit of salt. There we go. My bowl of cereal, frosted flakes, some whole milk, 
I'm a professional. Huh? I'm a professional. Professional milk opener? Yeah. Me? Oh. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Is it tough? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. It's great. Can you use your fork to eat this now? Thank you. You actually like your hands better than mine. Mmm, wow. I'm full. Cool. Cereal, awesome. Comfort food. What is that? Ham, you want a piece? Ham with what? A couple of sauce. What the no? You eat that sauce? Yeah. You can pair ham with apple sauce. It's a good pairing, actually. You know people eat ham and cranberry sauce. I know. Ah. <laughs> And I do that too. <laughs> I prefer cranberry sauce, but they that apple sauce. Is the apple sauce okay? That was pretty good. And there's the waffle. Mm. Crispy on the outside. Mm. Hey guys, this is our final meal aboard the Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas. It was a wonderful stay with Faith, wonderful cruise. Thank you everybody at the Royal Caribbean for being such great hosts. We loved our first cruise experience and we'll probably be on more in the future. Comment down below, guys, what your favorite cruises are, what your favorite cruise lines are. I really want to do Disney Cruise next before my kids get too old. So that might be next. Or maybe we'll do another Royal Caribbean. I really liked Royal Caribbean Cruise. The food was fantastic. What about you, Faith? It was pretty good. Overall? Yeah, overall. Overall, I rate the whole cruise. My experience, mm -hmm. 9 out of 10. Yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10 too. The food is great. The concerts are okay. They're not They're not the best, but they're pretty good. What? The concerts, like the perform performances. Oh, uh, the stage performances? Yeah. yeah, all the stage shows were awesome. They're pretty good. We had an ice skating show. They had Marquee, and they had Once Upon a Time, yeah. and uh, Lester Bibbs, the comedian. <laughs> yeah, all of it, outstanding entertainment. They kept us entertained the whole time. Yeah. There is not, no lack of things to do. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. Love you. And we're out. out. Bye. Bye.